Today, it's all about brand. Branding isn't just for products or for celebrities. Personal branding is something everyone needs to think about. Catherine Caputa is a personal branding strategist, speaker, and author. You know, my mother always said to me, you know, when I was a kid, you know, Catherine, work hard and you'll be successful. And, you know, it's not 100% true. Hard work is crucial and important. But my formula for success is hard work plus branding equals success. And as my mother always said, you know, it's up to you. So it's up to you. So I got involved with personal branding out of necessity because people were branding me in a way that I didn't want to be branded. And one of the key reasons why I think it's important that everybody get interested in personal branding is because if you don't brand yourself, someone else will. You know, we're branded every day as, you know, an A player or a B player or a person on the fast track or a person not going anyplace a successful entrepreneur or, or a business person who's um, having difficulty. You know, we're branded all the time. And what you want to do is take the reins, you know, empower yourself, take charge of uh, what your brand is. Because if you leave it to other people, I can assure you they're not going to brand you in a way that you want to be branded. From Madison Avenue to Wall Street to founder of her own company, Self Brand, Catherine Caputa learned that the best use of branding is not for products, but for people to create their own business success. That's why she wrote, You Are a Brand, winner of the prestigious Ben Franklin Award for Best Career Book. You know, when I was a kid, my mother always said to me, you know, Catherine, don't pay any attention to what other people say. You know, sticks and stones and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, my mother gave me a lot of great advice, but that was not one of them. Because it does matter what other people think. In the business world, other people hire you, other people decide to promote you, other people decide uh, whether to include you in a team. Uh, so it's very important that you understand what perceptions are about the perceptions people in the marketplace have about you. And branding is about really developing positive perceptions about yourself so you can maximize who you are. Principle number one, be different. Principle number two, you know, it's what you do to the minds of others. It's all about perceptions. And the third principle is you want to think outside in. What reaction do I want to get in the marketplace? And what do I have to do to get that reaction? Here's a book that came out about 10 years ago called The Moderate Carbohydrate Diet. Did anybody here go on this diet? Nobody went on this diet. It only sold uh, like a thousand copies. It didn't do well. Then the book was branded. How many people here went on this diet? Unbranded, the book didn't sell well. Branded, it sold 3 million copies in the first year. Same concept, same book, but with the branding idea behind it, it did well. What does the whole idea of South Beach bring to mind to you? The beach and skinny, attractive people, you know, very stylish. I mean, it was kind of like a diet that we all want to go on. Then this book had a little bit of luck because then one day a reporter was saying to then President Clinton, gee, Mr. President, you know, you look like you've lost some weight. You look really great. And he goes, I want the South Beach diet. And then it sold three million more copies and everybody really realized what the brand is all about. As an active female business leader, Catherine also speaks on women and success, the topic of her new book, The Female Brand. Look at the Fortune 500 list. Uh, we've had a 25% increase in, in the number of women on the list over last year. I mean, we're not where we want to be, but this is a tremendous uh, move forward. We're here to talk about the most important brand you'll ever have to market. Brand you. 
And it's something that women need to think about because we have a lot of catching up to do. I mean, the main reason I wrote the book, The Female Brand, is because women are not as good at branding themselves as men are. Research shows that men aren't as good as women at listening. I don't think we need a million dollar research study for that finding. <laughs> they can have trouble listening, they can have trouble remembering what we ask them to do, but they don't forget to brand themselves. Men are so confident and good about talking about their accomplishments, they can even tend to exaggerate their <laughs> accomplishments and achievements. It's what one researcher who did a global study of male and female leadership called the male hubris effect. We women, on the other hand, tend to downplay our accomplishments. What the researcher called the female humility effect. Just look at the personal columns. You read the personal columns, all the men sound like Brad Pitt. <laughs> and what about the women? They want long walks in the country. Well, ladies, that's not very good branding. One of my clients is a client named Gina. She gets to work early and, you know, hop in the elevator. And some days, the CEO would walk into the elevator. And she'd think, you know, I've got to talk about something. But not knowing what to talk about, she talked about the weather. And then we started working together on personal branding and being able to talk about herself and her achievements. A couple of weeks later, she's in the elevator with another male colleague, and in pops the CEO. Her male colleague says, oh, hi, John. Glad to run across you. You'll be happy to know we had a great sales meeting with ABC client, and I think we're going to close the deal. And the CEO says, Bob, you know, you've made my day. And, you know, not just the proverbial pat on the back when, when he left the elevator, when Bob left, he actually gave him a pat on the back. And so then when Gina met with me, she said, bingo, it dawned on me. Here I am, you know, what's Bob doing? He's branding himself as the next VP. And what am I doing? I'm branding myself as the weather girl. And she said, you know, all of a sudden the lights went off and she realized she needed to be able to weave in a conversation about herself and her group. And so what she started doing was learning to be able to feel comfortable talking about herself and her accomplishments um, with other people around the firm. And she found that it made a big difference in her own career because once people started realizing what she did, it made a big difference in her success. And before long, she was, you know, on the fast track and she was selected to be part of a high potential program. Catherine is a media commentator on personal branding who has been featured on CNN, ABC, NBC and MSNBC. Catherine has also been profiled in Fortune, The London Observer and The New York Times. To book Catherine as a speaker or a workshop leader, please contact the organization that provided this video.